In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a projector as a light source to create some incredible abstract portraits. With a subject as celebrated and well photographed as the nude, it's not easy to come up with an original concept, but unusual lighting can be very effective, so here we'll be using the body as a blank canvas for projected patterns. It's a technique with tons of potential for all kinds of wonderfully unusual images. Good lighting is vital for nude photography, as it emphasises the form of the body. Our projector gives us another dimension to the lighting by allowing us to shine colours and patterns across the figure. I've prepared a few interesting patterns to use for our projection here. As a Photoshop CC subscriber, I've made use of the array of free patterns found within the Creative Cloud app. When it comes to booking a model for a shoot like this, a site like Purple Port is a good place to start. It's where we found our wonderful model Miss Diamond Sparkle here. As for the projector, we're using an Optima EH400+. Projectors come in all shapes and sizes, but the most readily available are DLP projectors like this. They're mainly used for watching films, video games or PowerPoint presentations. When choosing a projector, brightness and contrast are the main factors. At its highest brightness setting of 4000 lumens, the Optima model here is plenty bright enough and a contrast ratio of 22,000 to 1 means we can get the bright highlights and deep shadows we need for our effect to work. The HD resolution also means we can get detailed projections over our subject. Of course, projectors like this aren't built to be used as a photographic light source, so we need to be aware of a couple of things about how they work. DLP projectors use a colour wheel which spins very fast. Light shines through this and projects the image with the range of colours. Your eye processes this information, but photographs of projections often result in ugly lines or unexpected colour shifts. So we need to adjust the shutter speed to match the projector, which usually runs at 25 or 50 frames per second. Therefore, we need to set the shutter speed to multiples of this, so try 1 100th of a second. A tripod isn't essential, but it'll help prevent shake when at 1 100th of a sec, which is a relatively slow shutter speed for portraiture. In order to get the brightest, most contrasty image out of our projector, we also need to keep the ambient light to a minimum. The darker the room, the better the projection. A dark backdrop is also a good idea. Just as with a normal portrait, directional lighting will emphasise the shape of the figure. So rather than straight on, I place the projector off to the side, then pose the subject so that the light forms in interesting pools of light and shade across her figure. As for camera settings, our Canon is in manual mode here. After a few quick test shots, I settled on an exposure of ISO 800 and the aperture at f4 with the shutter speed at 1 100th of a second. Once our exposure is locked in, we don't need to worry about it, so we can concentrate on the posing, which is just as important. There are no rules to posing, but it emphasises the shape of the body if the subject moves her arms away from the sides. It's all about finding harmony between the shape of the body and the projected image. Small movements can have a dramatic effect on the way the pattern falls across the figure. As well as adjusting the pose, we can also tweak the projection. With the projector connected to a laptop, it's easy to adjust the pattern in real time for the perfect position across the subject. We can even start painting on screen and the brush strokes will fall across the figure. I experimented here with a few different patterns but I think my favourites were those that had patches of dark and light as the effect seems more abstract when there are these empty black spaces between the bright colours.